So in today's video, we're going to look at the line intersection between two linear lines. Now, this is pretty basic linear algebra, and I'm not going to explain the mathematics in this video, but I have got a secondary documentation on my GitHub called Explanation. And it's a MATLAB live script, which just goes through what we're going to do. We're going to define a line as, as being between two points. We will compute the gradient of the point, the y intercept of the point to create the line. Same thing for a second line. And then we will use this mathematics here, which you may or may not know, but it's not really going to be fundamental. You can still follow the process. And we're going to find the intersect. So let's jump right into it. We're going to just make sure the workspace is cleared. And then we're going to start defining our first line. So our first point will be point two in the x direction and the y coordinate will be oh, let's say five we're going to go to the the second coordinate so the second point in our first line is going to be at point nine and then our y coordinate will be at 12. so we'll just first create a figure so we can visually see this we'll just make sure the axis has been cleared and we'll apply the hold on and then we'll plot the first point as a scatter and we will give it a black marker with a marker face color that is also black and we'll do the same for the second point when we run that we have a point at a point at uh, 2 5 and a point at 9 12. we'll now do the second we'll define our second line and that's going to be, let's say, minus 3. And let's say the y coordinate of the first point is 11. The second x coordinate will say is 12. And the second y coordinate will say is 10. I'm going to just do the exact same thing. We will plot this on a scatter using our 2, 2, 2, 2. And we'll make the face color red. To create lines between these points, we will move back to our first line. We'll just say that x1 is equal to x11. And we'll say every point to x12. Now, our y coordinate, we have to first calculate the gradient, which is going to be y12 minus y11 over x12 minus x11. And then our y intersect is going to be our y coordinate minus our gradient multiplied by our x coordinate and then finally we can say that our overall y coordinate is going to be our gradient times by our x coordinate plus our y intersect and if we just plot this so x1 y1 we'll just make it a gray dash line with a line width of 1 there you go, we've got our line now between our two points and the line is sort of every single unit. <clears throat> we will now do the exact same thing but for the second line. And we will now do the same thing for our second line. Okay. So we're at this point now where we've done the exact same thing for both of our lines. We've managed to plot the line and we can visually say, okay, we know the y-intersect occurs, occurs between 7 and 8 in the x, around 10 and 11 in the y, somewhere along that lines. But this is, not, this is not good enough. So what we're going to do is we're now going to calculate the intersect using the mathematics which is explained in the explanation. So we're going to first define A1, and A1 is going to be equal to C1 times by Y11 minus C1 times by Y12 divided by X11 times by Y12 minus X12 times by Y11. We then create our B1 variable, which is going to be A1 times by X12 plus C1, and this is all divided by Y12. 
And we do the same thing now for the second line. So it's going to be A2, which is going to be C2 times Y2, 1 minus C2 times by Y2, 2 divided by X2, 1 times by Y2, 2 minus X2, 2 times by Y2, 1. And again, our B2 variable is just going to be A2 times by X2, 2 plus C2 all divided by Y2, 2. And then our intersect is just the solution. So we do B1 times C2 minus B2 times C1 divided by A1 times B2 minus A2 times B1. And then our Y intersect is A1 times C2 minus A2 times C1 divided by A1 times B2 minus A2 times B1. So when we, and then we finally just plot this, so we'll say x int, y int, and we'll just say a blue x marker. When we run that, you can see the marker is perfectly aligned at the intersection. Let's just, let's see if we can make this a circle for a bit more transparency, and we'll say marker face color green. There we go. So you can see we've now got this intersect perfectly between the two lines, and when we return that, it is x int and y int between 7 and 11, so that's exactly what we expected. The source code is all going to be on my GitHub in the description below.